There we go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube slash Twitch channel. Welcome to the people that's just coming in and watching. We're going to sit here and check out what Sony wants to show us today. August 6th, no PS5 information was announced. None. It'll work on PS5. Yeah, but they already had a whole patent for the new headset. And I just... That's what my problem is. I always like, oh, they're going to be something better. They're always going to be something better. So, <clears throat> I know we won't hear nothing about the PS5 tonight or headset and stuff, but that would have been cool. Just trying to think of what other games are. I mean, we're going to see... We got to see some Cyberpunk, maybe. Maybe some Cyberpunk. Um, a Call of Duty game. And Call of Duty is probably going to be announced or talked about. <clears throat> Maybe some updates and download DLC for some games. You know, maybe something from, I don't know. Maybe something from Apex. I don't know. I don't really see a whole bunch today coming. Oh, I know Max is live. He's watching it. A lot of VR will be shown. Oh, that'd be cool. We'll get maybe get to see some new of the latest and greatest of the VR world. I've just Cobra has just now been. If you guys want to watch VR stuff, Cobra v, he streams VR stuff. I mean, and like I said, it's you're not getting the representation of what he's getting because of the console's limitations. But it's it's it was cool. It's interesting. I couldn't imagine it being in both eyes and. So he's he's in on of that. Like you guys want to watch stuff like that. He's cool. That's that's interesting stuff. That's like the next step. I think AR eventually be awesome too because you don't have to graphically render everything. Like in VR, you got to render. The graphics card's got to do everything in both screens. In AR, augmented reality, whatever you know situation you put yourself in, you can see. It's only got to render what is needs to be seen, and you're talking mind blowing. <clears throat> you know, you go outside and look at your tree, and it automatically covers the tree and looks like there's dead bodies hanging off of it and shit everywhere moving around. Like, yeah, there's a lot of integration that has to go, yeah, a lot of new stuff. All right, 20 seconds, guys. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, PS4. <clears throat> this is interesting. <clears throat> they showed it was like a showcase of the final PS4, the lights and everything. Some Crash Bandicoot. Oh, Blue gonna be happy. Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Blue is Bandicoot gonna be happy. It's about time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains Neo Cortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash cool. and Coco to save the day. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. Oh, shit. So Toys for Bob, wow. thought it was important to reintroduce longtime fans yeah, VR as well is as immersion players is under, oh, to yeah, this amazing franchise. Oh, yeah, most definitely. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show. Look you at today. that! That looks fun, it's man. Sanity Beach. This is where Crash I might even play that. That looks fun. That's like a whole new. Oh shit! 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 Oh sh
and throw oh. out Crash 4. You'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. That looks our good! Wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games. All while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. They're gonna get another 40 bucks from us, I bet. Four, you'll see wide open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cool. cosmetic and a fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, yeah, we ain't spending no all my extra years. money on it now. Skins Come are on. By completing different challenges and earning gems within levels. Crash what do you think they're gonna rack us on this chat? Masks. How much? I want to see it in chat. Type in chat. And space. Oh, Crash and Coco over there, yeah, over there. The game <laughs> to tackle the crazy challenges. Type it in chat. How much do you think is the price of this is going to be? Whether it's Ika, Ika, twenty, thirty, to instantly flip your forty. Cobra said sixty. Holy shit, sixty. You to slow down the world All right, you. they're gonna get sixty bucks from me from a girl. Loli, who allows you to face shift Some old bitches. Better not get no sixty bucks from me for this. With these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Econo, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. What we can oh, Econo mask, yeah, it's economy it's mask. It's cheap from China. Control of during this adventure. For story, Real cheap Econo mask. Game is Coco. It's gonna be, look like a nurse Anyone mask. You know the mask crash, everyone's you buying for. Coco. You can get it's like a hundred for a dollar. Take a more prominent role in the story. Seventy. Cam going with the seventy with the new console upgrade price. Seventy. So that they can provide their own fresh. Well, I don't know, man. New gameplay. Here you can I'm see say you'll be taking control of Neo. Thirty-nine bucks. He's all about using his blaster to thirty-nine ninety-nine. An enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time Ooh, you'll shit. also get to Seventy. tail slap your way from Francis Dingo Dial. Someone I ban him. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> ban that some little bitch. Seventy bucks. Damn. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved. Oh, we got other characters too. I don't know. Cobra might be hitting this one on the, the head. Finally, there's one more surprise. I'm incredibly excited. Be an to all show new today. Crash Bandicoot the Crash Four. Bandicoot they put four behind it. You know what I mean? Like to play through the game. full game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or just. I, I was pushing, but damn, I know. Well, for Crash Four. We want to bring something brand new to the table, so we teamed if up with a bunch of Knox to create a brand I'll drink new a whole beer for Crash Four that we call. I already bought your mode. sub. It's our so souped up. If it's seventy bucks, I'll give you a good show. Mode. Not only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera oh, that's speed cool. increasing the actual speed that's of the cool. gameplay as oh, well. That's cool. All at once. once unlocked, yep. Players can replay all with the games. Seventy bucks. With a totally I'll drink a beer and, and spin this guy's damn field. chair. It's an incredibly fun feature that's going to give every player. Yeah, this looks fun, bro. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm kind of actually like, each level holy game, crap, old. I was not expecting this. Experiences in store for them. I will play this. This looks fun to play. So I beat the other ones. The girl loves these games. Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time. Experience the space and time October second on October second. No price. Today's state of play is loaded with third-party yeah, updates give you no for price. PS4 and PSVR, and some new PS5 gameplay too. Oh, oh! We opened the show with an all they lied. Crash Four. It's about time. Coming to PlayStation Four on October second. Now let's keep the party going. PS5 the gameplay today. She just said it. Mm. Hitman 3. See, all these games are going to be dedicated. Like, they're, they're built for a PC. 
So they're going to downscale it, downgrade for PS4 and the other console, and then you're going to get the PS4, PC version, or PS5 version. This will be on the PS5 and the Xbox One X, or Xbox Series X. A Swiss franc. Oh shit, how much is that in a dollar? How many Swiss francs is a dollar? I keep forgetting that. I need to know that. Smoked! VR mode included in Hitman. You got it, bro. That is gonna be great. I'll watch you play that, bro. We'll host you. Not actual gameplay. Hitman and VR. I gotta write some of these notes down. Damn. I gotta write these notes down. Give me a second, chat. Note. Hitman 3 VR. What's this? Oh shit. I know, bro. Could you imagine strangling a motherfucker? Smoked, you know what I mean? In VR? Like, oh man. Like, looking around a corner. I think they were pulling people's legs. Oh, maybe this is another something blue alike. Blue loves this stuff. You gotta send much love to her when you guys get a chance. I know you guys, you guys that are in here. She's going through a lot right now. She's with her parents. Yeah, or they notice people are quite mad, yeah. Braid, anniversary edition. Oh, Cam Sham knows a little about this, huh? We are happy to announce Braid Never heard Anniversary of it. Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brush strokes animating cool. the world. Cool, up to 8K? There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, Oh, you seen the advertised? Damn, Cam's on it. Visual art. Give it to we him. To Look at him. The most detailed commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games He's are like, made, no, I already beat this son of a bitch. Be a really good resource. He, he are, Cam already beat this game, you guys. Comes out early next year. PS5. The is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured <laughs> Doug from PS5. His PS5. Hi, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. Wow. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. The Pathless is an open world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the hunter. The hunter is a master of archery. Man, this looks like a base game of Ghost of Tsushima. Meter, which allows her to like where they the landscape. first started. You know what I mean? Don't it? Come on, don't it? Fluid, dynamic movement is at the core of the pathless. Come on so the game's now. Unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This so this is like is critical. It's like making it 11, to shoot 12 percent of what Ghost of Tsushima was from a really, really small company. Feel as skilled they as the probably spent a lot of money on it. Made a little faster. Some blur effects to help the GPU. This is this is gonna be upgraded a lot, I guarantee you right now. This is gonna eagle, look a lot better than what it's showing you right now. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. 
You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. You're probably right, Cobra. They're probably rushing, you know what I mean? They're probably like, hey, you know, people want to see some things, you know, can you bring, what can you bring to the table? What can you bring to the table? What can you bring to the table? You can't bring shit to the table, you're out. See ya. Make sure you yeah, it's almost like Warframe. To keep it clean. It's, it's quick and, and fast. Condition. I don't want to say it's like Warframe. It's, I think it's more based on like uh, your guys' Assassin Creed and... You'll find secrets all over the island if you know where to look. Kind of the ghost of Tsushima theme it looks like. It's open world and there's tons of stuff. There's probably going to be a lot more of stuff to do, you know, because... Collecting crystals of the will let you upgrade of the, the eagle's graphics. ability to flap. Probably have tons of missions. You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Ooh, we've got some puzzles and stuff now. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, you know. Hey, how did, I hope everything went good, man. So, uh, things that you missed. Hitman 3. It's going to be VR. That's one thing you missed. That's really great. And they are showing Path PS5 stuff today. Your own way they said they weren't. So unlike they most are. open world games, there's no so. map. Instead, the hunter can oh, use write that down. to peer Come into on, the spirit world and here. discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Getting to higher vantage points will let you see further with spirit vision. And this one's called... Bam. Good shit, chat. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. We'll just put a comma behind that in case anything else comes out. Whoa, that's neat. Stay still in the light to avoid detection. Look like the game only. A... No, no. So I said this is small developer. What it is though is going to allow a lot of these indie these developers make games that are about 10 to 15 percent the size of Ghost of Tsushima. You won't be able to take instead on of you know you see a lot of the side scrolling games and stuff that are smaller, but I want to say this will probably. Something like this could probably support 8K through that HDMI port. Just like our 4K 60 or like our PS4 Pro does the UAI. Some of it might in be in between 4K and 8K. You know, with the checkerboard resolution. So You're going to see a lot more of smaller companies being able to make games easier. So you're going to see PS3 looking games that's the best way I can put it you're gonna see a lot of them and then the big triple-a games is where you're gonna see the big stuff <coughs> yeah Next gen, welcome to next gen. The, the beginning of it is going to be rough. I said three to six months, man. It's going to be a lot of ported titles. The hunter and eagle will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. We've only yeah, it was kind of fast, huh? There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathos is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. <coughs> Watch it come out on all consoles. That'll be on all of them. They're just saying PS5. I don't know, maybe it's not on a PS4. It was moving really fast. Just PS5. Next up, let's see what's in store for Spelunky 2. Ah. Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Spelunky. 
for Spelunky 2, I these games aren't sure really for me. Something that got old fans excited and also these are the games. Players. Cam, Sham, you should play these games. It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. So you get many smoked, just like that. See how that works? Friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer. I love these so games. <laughs> I know. Play the game together. And I also wanted to include that feeling of community in Spelunky 2 itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming, even though. It's see what you're gonna see here in this next Spelunky generation two, you do runs is a lot more also be developers, a, community and a lot more games. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic. But they're not gonna be one. every not it's every gonna game is gonna be full. like amazing. You're gonna because a lot of smaller people say like myself. Lots of new ways. There's a lot of actually it's starting to For trend and grow like bigger turkeys. now. People are Twitch streaming them and making a game, passageways. and it is becoming a trend. And you'll have to choose between branches. And people, are, it's, it's because the capabilities games. of these consoles and as a result, the engines the that are available to them, much more texture to them, they can, you can you do much better than this, but you don't have, have like you said, Cobra, you enjoy watching area. the credits, how many people are and involved in some of that. A lot of these games the that are going about to come out, I mean, a lot of these games in the next couple of years are about to come out are going to be so smaller too, developers, smaller companies, and it's going to be a lot of these. You're still going to have your major titles, but you're going to get, we're going to get a lot more games, I think. But they're gonna be like this. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take That's to find the, best the way I can. secrets. That's, in my opinion, I could be wrong. But too, I think but the great thing about Spelunky is that the Mario and Link, are yeah, the ones I did. Even I don't know Killer Doug did. Cam Sham, not so much. Matt did. Matt started with fucking Pong. Push past the just like you we and Doug. Uh, all y'all are old. <laughs> I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. Oh, shit. First are when people are genuinely surprised by <laughs> something that happened I, in the game. My, <laughs> your first game and I second, beat was Mario and Luigi. Mario Brothers, calm down. I did it when I was five. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon. In <laughs> and I did. Really I don't know if Doug, Doug would have been around, but my cousin After Chet was Spelunky, always around. And more my dad had a whole party. Knowing that I beat Mario. Was out there is I beat Mario Brothers, and the, the original on Nintendo. It was in five or ways, six. When Spelunky 2 comes out, I want players to experience I know, what I ain't far behind. Making it. That feeling that there's something Cam, special there. Cam started with uh, a big thanks to the fans oh, who waited shit. patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. End of PS2. It's been a long journey. Beginning of PS3 I think era. It's gonna be worth it. Thanks. That's my nephew. Cam Shams my nephew. That's why I buy it so. I was born in 83. <clears throat> Good old 1983. We've got a bunch of new PS4 updates to share with you. Oh, Starting here we with go, a Genshin. Look at Genshin Impact. Yeah. That's my nephew. Yeah, I can run through hey, Mario games like none. Strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. I wear this at work. People are like, "Man, it's hundred degrees." Cool. These games are cool. I know you guys don't like it. Like, oh, I, I know a lot of people in my chat right now don't like this game don't like these kind of games, but I'm a, I'm a RPG kind of guy, but when I play these and stuff, I don't I don't ever really got the time to play them because there's so many other games that I want to play. But you wait for something good. No, you're good, I understand. A deal in death. If you cannot bring yourself to kill... Yeah, I played Dragon Warrior and shit, and I played Star Ocean. I was a big fan of Star Ocean growing up. Final Fantasy. I want, you know, I'm waiting for Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger. Come on, baby, let's go. Square's starting to make these games again. Let's let's do it.
Panther Dragoon, yeah. See? Uh oh. See, Focus. I've never even heard of this company. No, a lot of these small games. Games are my type of games. <laughs> oh, shit. What's this? Oh, shit. What's this? Now, I'm a Street Fighter and Soul Cat. I'm a fighting game guy, too. You guys just don't see me play them because I usually don't stream them. I like playing them kind of games. Go all out or go home, Emperor. There's a big update for Soul Calibur. Yeah, this looks cool. Alright, one second, we're right back. Now that it's I would time play. to talk bug snacks. Let's a check little out bit some up. gameplay footage captured from PS5. My invitation is open. Come Here we go, PS5 again. On the island of Wow, that's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist. Don't tell me you actually believe mm. this half-baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this bug snack story, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see Call of Duty PS4, PS5. There's a bug snack right over there. Uh, maybe it won't be on the PS4. I can't see them not putting the next Call of Duty on the PS4. I could be completely wrong. Holy crap! What do you guys think? You think it's gonna be on both? I want you to use that or they'll just run Warzone and Modern Warfare right now and just keep updating that on the PS4 and then. What do you think? It's gonna be a both? I mean, if they were smart, they would do it on both, but they might do it to just push and just continuously work on Modern Warfare. You're pretty good at stuff. For the older console. Oh man. I didn't think about that. Don't piss it. Yeah, see, you're right. Yeah, you don't. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they just continue doing Modern Warfare for PS4. You know what I mean? And then they just focus on the PS5 and the. Sh I don't know. It's Game Sham thinks they're gonna release on the PS4 and then just do an upgrade for PS5. I wouldn't say remastered, it would be too close. Here we go. Here we go, Cobra. The There's still a game you guys are forgetting about that I'm gonna play, and that's Star Wars Rogue the 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 flying one. I think it's I can't remember what it's called, Squadrons. I'm playing that son of a bitch, and I wish I would have had a VR for that. 
That's already pre -order. I already got it pre-ordered. I'm playing that. Y'all gonna watch Star Wars on here. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the Oh, flying. I hope Cobra got it too, because me and him gonna tear the skies up. Star Wars VR mission. What about the new game, Squadrons? We gotta run that together, Cobra. If you get it on the Xbox, it'd probably be easier. Oh! Yeah, if you get it on the Xbox, it would be a lot easier. I'm not saying we might be able to play it regardless. But. <clears throat> Remedy. Yep, that's Cobra's control upgraded, huh? VR. Oh, really? And Alan Wake expand. Whoa! <clears throat> you guys, yeah, this is Cobra stuff. He plays this shit, so. You want to talk about a game that pushes the PC to the limits? This is one of them. August 27th. That's this month, August. Well, it's like, I bet you it's like three weeks right before the new cards come out. Three to two weeks for the new graphics cards on the PC. That game in 4K, I hit like 38 FPS. That's it. <clears throat> and on my birthday. Hell yeah, Matt. Yeah, we got these games. To download. Oh, I bet. I, I guarantee you, you'll get some more enhancements and stuff from that. Like, well, on the PC, we'll get a whole bunch of slew of shit to add on to the old content, too. Like, graphics and shit. Because it won't just be probably just for that DLC, all the enhancements. And then two weeks later, the new cards come out. People will be putting that on Ultra. You know what I mean? And finally, you'd be unable to play it at 60 FPS and complete great fidelity. Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, this is going to be a lot of games that for a younger audience, I believe. We'll get a we'll get a few of ours. We got Crash Bandicoot. I didn't know if you've seen that, Matt. We had Crash Bandicoot 4 too. I gotta write that. Damn chat, you guys are not letting you gotta not reminding me. Crash four. That's for the PS4. I like this one, PC building. To pedestrian. See, that's coming to PS4 in 2021, so. Now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Here we go. We are the forest shadows. Ghosts running silently between the straight cold lines of a corrupt state. Quiet and long, don't shed a tear. They count, ration, manipulate. There's a wolf in the night and he's talking. They Bro. Everything from those they claim to protect. What I tell you, Cobra. Authority and steel will not stop us. We are an invading we army. Right we are race. This is just gonna be fun, man. I think it's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to stream, fun to watch, fun to play. The 
It kind of took a lot of excerpts. It took a lot of stuff. You can tell. We take back what was stolen. And the people call us heroes. Bunch of assassins. To others, we are rivals. Kratos looking guy. Smoked. Matt, man, you got to look into maybe just looking at it. We are all this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun to play with people, just other people. Just tons of other people. Oh, man. That game's going to be fun, man. That's like Ghost of Tsushima, but online only. So everybody you're fighting is other people. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That game, that game's got my interest. <clears throat> Man, we got these again. I don't even, Blue probably wouldn't even play this. <coughs> I don't even think Blue would play that. Before we wrap up, let's take a tour of Godfall. We've got new PS5 gameplay for this let's melee some Godfall. action epic launching right. this holiday. I want to get this. This is one I want to get. So far, I've been... Hello. My, my prediction of Call of Duty has been shot down. For Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to yeah, offer you and this a doesn't do it justice. the mystical world so, of Godfall. Is... Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's Look how next fast that is. console. Please enjoy. Oh, let's go. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying yeah, gearbox is good company and robust loot progression systems. Well, you they make the good quality stuff. Pace, I don't know about them, them personally as a company and how they treat their workers. So don't take that in context. Godfall is set especially where they've really been going lately. High fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic. And for yeah, this realms. is gonna look the world really good, I'm sure. Into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. Godfall is a complete package. All loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions, no waiting for content. It's all in the game on day one. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Damn. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. No pay to win, right? First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore Interesting. one part gear driven and one part. I'm intrigued. Let's, let's, in other words, <laughs> not only let's be happy, like holy shit, that I get weapons with powerful loot traits. 
but we also it looks want promising. to have that feeling <clears throat> of accomplishment or mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving. I don't know, man, that combat. Enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies, and the game rewards you for being aggressive. Now that you're familiar with the combat personally let's take <clears throat> Cobra's life themselves <coughs> personally they don't in even Godfall, uh there are five weapon classes the long sword God of Wars combat the dual blades man I don't know about this Godfall now arm. man the two-handed warhammer and the two-handed great sword each weapon class has their own unique movesets and play styles ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, I each weapon know. with their own primary and secondary traits. They had to say that about loot boxes, people would have speculated. Yeah, I know. And then like, and now that I'm seeing more of it, in greater detail. For now, it ain't even we'll on par of ghosts. Blades, and the longsword weapon class. Look at it. The dual blades are the fastest weapon class in Godfall. Yeah, I mean it's fast and quick and pretty, and but the dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. You can perform a combo by executing four consecutive light attacks. The dual blades heavy attack. What, like Dynasty Warriors? Blade cycle. Which square, square, blade square, cycle square. Can also be used square, 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 triangle. End of your light attack square, combo. square, square, triangle, so triangle. The signature moves square, square, like square, blades. square, triangle, As triangle, you triangle. Charge, you know what I mean? Like, I don't. Activate inner focus, this which is ghost is completely blades, different. I like, like the whole. Like, in a short period of time. I don't know, There's man. There's also Mortal Coil. Where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you like pulling a cable. Now let's switch to the longsword weapon class. Longswords are balanced weapons, embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate. What we'll to see? Uh, I don't know. I'm not <clears throat> similar to dual blades. Personally, like the combat system light attack isn't combo. something that I'm going to be heavy in. attack finisher. Which can be used with at the end of your life. Playing Devil May Cry 5 and There are three ghost. signature moves for the Longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a Longsword swing called a Timing Attack. If you press the shield button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core part of Godfall. It's available to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry an attack. You can perform a light attack after a last second shield block to counter All attack with well, a powerful shield. I think tons strength. of games have that now. So. Shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. So you can finish enemies on the ground too. Like, man, they're... Here's the combat. Who's playing this game?
Sounds like Mortal Kombat, I doubt, yeah. So they just put these games in turbo? Looks horrible. I'm sorry, that's my opinion, but Jesus. That was horrible. That was horrible. Godfall running on the PlayStation no. 5. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I know. I'm probably going to beat it. Oh, I'm just I'm just telling you. Holy shit. A few more surprises coming down the road. That's Such horrible. Such as details on loot and progression and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, I'm not pre-ordering that. Thank you. Holy crap. No way. Like that. <clears throat> I was like Summoner 2, PlayStation 2 combat. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this what? Future of PlayStation. What? No way. Holy shit. Holy shit. No way. No way! Wow, that was what they showed at the end. Holy shit. No friggin' way. No friggin' way. That was it. That's it. Holy crap. <clears throat> Yep, you got it. Cobra, you were right, bro. Like, you just fucking slap you straight in the face. Wow. Is that really it? Is it really? Yep. Let's see what they're saying. Let's see what they're saying. Oh, man. No Call of Duty, yep. I was shot down on that one. Bam, bam. See why I missed, why I'm pissed at Sony? I mean, Pony. Holy crap. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm not going to lie, I'm surprised. <clears throat> Call the booty. Wow. Yeah, I'm 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 surprised. I I'm I mean we got Hitman 3 VR, Crash 4 on a PS4 and some Godfall gameplay and a Godfall gameplay. Ugh. Ugh. That braid that braid game. That looked okay. I'm I i do not know. Holy crap, though. Man, oh man. Um, holy crap. Uh, well, just so everyone knows, I don't know if I'm allowed to even say this. The doc is on YouTube, but give me a second and I'll give you guys my, my surprise I was going to do. Holy crap, you guys. I'm going to do my surprise, but that's another surprise. Doc's live on YouTube. So, um, yeah, give me one second. Holy crap, what's going on? Okay, I am so glad I got this. Holy crap. All right, holy shit. Just gonna do that. All right. All right, what 
just leave that roll. All right. Oh my god! Like okay, every everything's kind of like crashing down on me real quick. Um, holy crap! I'm gonna make clips of this. Make clips of this. Like I can't believe he's live on YouTube right now after a month and a half, two months. Like holy shit! So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I'll put it down a beer for you guys for this. Oh my word! I'm gonna play this, and I'm gonna get everything ready. Holy shit! Okay. All right. Much love, you guys. Yeah. Peace. Much love. I'll be back here in a second. Oh. Fucking Doc is live, you guys. Holy shit. You didn't see it here on this Twitch channel. Most definitely. Because I can't uh, do that, you know. Dr. Disrespect. Bro, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink that one. Most definitely. Go love that guy, huh? Much love. I'm gonna have to go watch that guy. See ya. Peace out, guys. I'm gonna go watch this right now. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have. It's it's everything's fucking hitting me, bro. <laughs> I love it. Peace out, guys. Much love. <laughs>